Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Can I join with the Prime Minister in her comments about Sir David? Uh, she spoke for the whole House when she made those comments, and I know uh, how deeply his loss was felt on the opposite benches, and we extend our best wishes across at this important time. Mr Speaker, I also want to send my heartfelt condolences to the families of all those who tragically lost their lives in Chrysler last week. Donegal is a special place to me and my family and across this House. Uh, The people there are in all of our thoughts. Mr Speaker, this morning the Business Secretary toured the TV studios arguing that the turmoil in the markets has nothing to do with her budget. (laughs) Does the Prime Minister agree with him? Well, Mr Speaker, what we have done is we have taken decisive action. We have taken decisive action to make sure that people are not facing energy bills of £6,000 for two years. And I think we remember the opposition is only talking about six months. We've also taken decisive action to make sure that we are not facing the highest taxes for 70 years in the face of a global economic slowdown. And what we're making sure is that we protect our economy at this very difficult time of our action, Mr Speaker, and this has been independently corroborated, we will see higher growth and lower inflation. Mr Speaker, avoiding the question, ducking responsibility, lost in denial. No wonder investors have no confidence in her government.